And they'll tell you wearing and one shacks, Fat Farms, uh, what other you know little name brand joints that ain't compared to the Nike. You know, if you was wearing that stuff, you wouldn't feel too cool. But what I noticed is the kids that did wear those and didn't even care if they was being cool, they was really having the most fun. They was left alone most of the time. They was doing what they loved. They played in the band. They would do all the other stuff. The cool kids was back on basketball, on football, you know, uh, maybe some other things. But the 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 the, the smart ones who, who was wearing the champions when they was low quality and stuff, them the niggas just the, the owners, the managers and shit now because they just didn't even care. They the web designers. They the, you know what I mean? The women that got some good, they got good husband, got them just married to them people. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how the. And we stuck on being cool. Like, I couldn't believe I was cool to dance. Somebody broke me out of that, though, at a party where I was forced to do it, you know? And um, I just did it, man. Like, and it was as weird as it felt. I was uh, I was um, liberated, so to speak, you know? Uh, last time I went to last Christmas party, it's about to be Christmas this year, but they said I was in there dancing with my wife to burn a boy last, last. And I was blacked out that night, so I don't even remember. Um, I was like... Came to work, they was like, you was dancing with you. I said, what? I said, no, I wasn't. I said, I don't remember that. They was like, bro, y'all look nice out there. Y'all was this, that. Y'all was dancing. So da, 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 and then everybody was watching. I'm like, what? I was like, y'all got to be kidding me. I ain't going to believe this unless I see this on, on somebody's phone, a camera or something, man. So, I mean, that, that, like, that was just funny. But I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just something about be, I was just being too cool to dance, even at the school dances, man. Go and sit on the bleachers, stand on the wall. I was one of them guys, man. I would now if I got you in class or something. Yeah, I'm talking. I'm in your ear. I'm on it. You know what I mean? Like, Bruh. come on, man, knock it off. Uh, I was uh, I was absolutely like on some you know, way cooler, chiller shit. And then maybe I was chill, you know, and, um, but you gotta be some, some people gonna be cool. Some people gonna be chill. Some people gonna be weird. Some people gonna be quiet. It's just, you know, how people are. And that's why we got this world with so much different flavors, man. You know, you just gotta keep mixing and mixing, man, from your friends. You want to mix with the right flavors to your partner. You want to mix with the right flavors and you and your, your partner, y'all gonna mix in the, you know what I'm saying? The flavor of y'all's kid is, you know, so it's crazy, man. I love um I love the way life works, man. How all these little flavors can get together, act different, talk different, be from different places, different experience, and we all gotta exist together. We all the 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 thing is getting out there and not being too cool to network. Be out there fucking you know what I mean, like talking to people, shaking hands, you know, learning different languages, going to experience different things. We too cool to do that. We too cool to go uh, go in a in a bit, dress up in a business suit, and go to where them folks you never even talked to be at, and just go see how the night goes. Like we too cool for that, you know. The cool kids, man. <laughs> like it's it's wild to me because I I've, I'm telling you, all I see it, but everybody around me and your environment is something that molds you as you're growing up. So boom, that's why I'm like, I I, I think I used to not be too cool. I would do the silliest stuff, the craziest stuff, dance crazy and all that. But when I got introduced to what cool was and what it meant, and cool is just basically a way to be accepted in society. That's the only way you can really be accepted now is if you cool. If you look cool, sound cool, act cool, anything else. Because they don't realize some people that don't act cool and be weird and that, they just, they hey, they, they don't go through the same problems as y'all people chasing cool. You know what I mean? The the quiet ones and all that or you know the ones that you might think just act weird and not like bro they they don't vibe with people like that and it's okay they don't vibe with them like nothing crazy about it that's just how it happened um it, it, but like i said different flavors man different strokes for different folks but it seemed like the black folks we really got comfortable with cool and it adapted and it conquered our whole community um yeah Cool conquered our whole community. Another triple C. Uh, like yo, and like like COVID, nigga. <laughs> Four C's, nigga. And that's like yo, come on, man. Give me some. <laughs> Where my drum, bro? Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. But that was my bad. Um, but yeah, it conquered our whole community, dog. And everybody I grew up with was trying to be cool. Like that. That was the crowd that I. Um, you know, communicated with. You know what I mean? I communicated with these certain people and that cool crowd, like like I said, it conquered my whole 
conscious, you know, conquer my whole conscious. I, I literally wanted to be cool from every day on, seeing what was cool, liked who was cool, listened to what was cool, rap like what was cool, you know, um, dress like it was cool, ate what was cool. The shit is crazy, man. When you go down this cool shit. And um, I think it's, it, it's people try to, look, look, think of this. When people go to the club, bro, they're so fucking cool, right? They'll they'll buy a $300 belt, $200 shoes, a $400 jeans, $90 shirt, a $300 jacket, a $10,000 chain, and all that just to go to the club and be in the fucking dark. Just to, like, turn where nobody even can see what you're doing. And it's so dark in there. Somebody step on your toe, you ready to... You ready to act up on them? Like, nigga, it's dark in here. Like, bro, what are you doing? Come on, dog. Bruh. It's dark in here. Who told you to wear $1,000 shoes to a dark place where people going to be drinking and getting drunk? Nigga, that's like wearing all whites to the playground. Why would I do that? I'm going to throw on some all white forces and go mountain hot climbing, nigga. Hiking. No. Or hoop, nigga. No, nigga. There's certain, like, bro, the club... You're going to have to be in a section or something. You can't be in a general and be a, you can't have all that shit on, not have a section, and then get mad somebody step on your foot, nigga. Like, come on, bro. Look where you at. You on the floor. You ain't got a section, nigga. So why won't you spend more money on a section and less on your shoes next time, nigga? Type shit. You feel me? Bruh. Knock it off. What the hell? Um, but the club, like, it's crazy, bro. And then these same niggas did. Love the club and can't escape the club. These motherfuckers, bro, they um, they don't even got a crib. They don't even got a car. They don't even take care of their child. Another triple C. I'm going crazy tonight, y'all. Four C's. Let's go. Go, boy. Make some noise. Hey, listen, I'm on fire. Uh, But the club, that's just a one reason, like, where we have to be cool at, you know. Um, And then here's the other thing. Why are we so cool? That we won't even go work that job. We know we need to work. What are we doing? What are we doing? I can't believe I wasn't even switching. Like, okay, I figured it out. I'm going to have to use some of that. Man. Uh, ah, it's cool. It's fine. But um, think about that. Cool conquered our community, and it got us confused, dog. We are addicted to being cool, and you got to ask why. Why are we too cool to work that job? Why are we too cool to not go to the club? Why are we too cool to be in a relationship and really just try to keep that relationship and be like, yo, I love you and I don't want, like, why, even relationship with our parents, why don't we apologize? Because we being cool. Why don't we dance in front of other people? Because we trying to be cool. Why don't we pray in front of other people? Because we trying to be cool, dog. Like, come on, why are we too cool to apologize? Knock it off, bro. Like, come on. Who are we? What are we talking about? We are the kings of cool, bro. We too cool to cry. Too cool to cry. We too cool, like I said, to apologize, to hug. Like, bro, we too cool to really be cool. You know what I mean? We think we cool. We think we cool. We not cool. We actually are going in the whole wrong direction. We going down that way. Supposed to be up there. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Come on, man. But let's keep going. Too cool for the job. Now, you know you need this job. You know you need to, um, you know you need to feed them kids. You know you got that car note. You know you got all that. But you, it's the crowd that you hang around with. And that's what make you actually not too cool for that job. That's what makes you too cool for the job by the crowd you hang out with. Because it would complicate how they perceive you. And that's not what's entirely important. Don't worry about how, if the people around you are are confusing you with being some lame or something because you got to get a job. Or they confusing you with a uh, hard, like, oh, this nigga trying to go. Like, who cares about them? That's not your crowd. That's not the crowd you should be in. The people that should be, the people that's around you should be lifting you up. You know, they should be lifting you up sky high, you know. They should want to see you succeed. They should want to. 
or you got to find a new crowd. You should never be the smartest in the room. I mean, yeah, the smartest in the room. You should always be around other people who is, you know, that's how you keep climbing the ladder and elevating. You're going to get stagnant sitting here with the people that's getting, that's clowning you for going to work and get a check. You feel me? That should never be your crowd. They're going to always let you down. They're going to always hold you back. That's not your crowd. You want to be around some hustlers. Some hustlers, dog. Some people that ain't scared, that ain't too cool to have some fun. That ain't too cool to, you know, approach a girl. That's too cool because that stuff, if you are one of them people, that brings you out of that. That's going to be able to elevate you and lift you up even more. Like I said, get around some people who do things better than you. You don't always have to be around people who you doing better than to make yourself feel good. That's never going to satisfy you. You're never going to grow. You're going to be in and if you're doing that, you might be too dumb to realize that the people above you are looking at you and that's they know why you're still there. Why you looking in the mirror going crazy wondering, "Why am I still here?" The people above you know why. You ha you can't commit. You clown people. You like to be in a small circle. You like to be in a small circle where you are the strongest, where you are the smartest, where you control everything. Them people do not grow. And they don't know. It's people on top of them looking at them. While they thinking they high, they up to people high, know they low. Like, look up, nigga. Look up. Look up. And that's why I'm trying to stay. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to look up. I'm trying to be around these different circles, you know, but, um, relationships let's hop into that right so when it comes to that let me hold on damn my bad so uh when it comes to relationships um trend no but yeah when it comes to relationships why why can't we ever just swallow our pride um get our feelings get out of our feelings get out of our emotions you know, sit down, get calm, and apologize and talk and communicate like adults should and not children, you know? Why don't we actually sit down and have a, a conversation, you know? Like, instead of just ruining it, like, it might be your mom, it might be your dad, but talk to them. Talk to them. Whatever problem it may be, I don't care how wrong they did, like, yo, you only get one of them. And whether you like it or not, they got something in them in you that's kind of how it happens some of them get into you that's just what happens i don't know who told me that i heard that one time that's just what they say all right like even our friends you know we we gotta sometimes we'd be too cool to hell we'd be too cool to sometimes tell them we love them i know a lot of black families and a lot of black brothers i know they'd be talking and they'd be like yeah my dad ain't even tell me he loved me to this age my dad ain't tell me he loved me to this age that shit like losing your virginity or something you feel me i ain't losing my virginity to this age or this ain't like bro 